Volvo is a unique car company. Everything starts with people. Since 1927, our heritage, our Swedish culture, and our focus on humanity have all helped shape our philosophy. To help people, to make their lives easier and more enjoyable, while also protecting them from harm. Our founders stated, cars are driven by people. The guiding principle behind everything we make at Volvo, therefore is, and must remain, safety. This emphasis on safety, people and quality has been a feature of our cars ever since. As has our passion for pioneering automotive and environmental innovation and distinctive Swedish design. This rich heritage continues to inform what Volvo does today and shapes its future. Volvo cars might never have happened if it had not been for a chance meeting between two friends in a Stockholm restaurant on an August evening in 1924. Two friends who shared a passion for cars and a vision of starting a Swedish car company. After that meeting, our founders, Asar Gabrielsson, a much-traveled economist and sales specialist, and Gustav Larsson, a talented engineer with a background in engine design began working on plans to make the finest Swedish car possible. At the time, Gabrielsson was also working for the ball-bearing manufacturer SKF, who owned the brand name Volvo. Fittingly, for a maker of steel ball bearings, the name means I roll in Latin. The initial design concepts emerged from Gustav Larsson's apartment in central Stockholm, in mid-1925, and in 1926, testing began on the first 10 prototypes, personally funded by Asar Gabrielsson. On the 14th of April, 1927, the first Volvo production car, the two-liter OB4, nicknamed Jacob, rolled out of the factory in Hissingen, Gothenburg, bearing the iconic Ironmark logo. The company we now know as Volvo was born. Back in 1927, three factors contributed to Volvo's early success. Sweden's growing industrial capabilities, the availability of premium quality local steel, and a genuine need for strong, high quality cars, as imported vehicles tended not to survive long on rugged, weather-worn Swedish roads. Since then, Sweden's distinctive culture, its respect for nature, and focus on social well-being have all continued to contribute to the evolution of Volvo as a unique human-focused company. Nowhere else in the world could have produced such a company. Volvo has always had a uniquely Swedish approach to car design, setting out to satisfy human needs and in the process driving desire. This approach can be traced from our earliest luxury cars to the PV444. Launched in 1944, this family sports saloon was to be Volvo's first really big success and our first major breakthrough into the United States. From the beautiful Amazon of the 50s and 60s, to the iconic P1800, and on to today's state-of-the-art XC90 and concept designs for the future, our aim has always been to design premium cars that make life that bit better. Volvo has also constantly developed technical innovations that have made driving not only more enjoyable, but also safer. There can be few people on the planet who have saved as many lives as Volvo engineer Nils Bolin. His revolutionary three-point safety belt design made its debut in the Volvo PV 544 of 1959. And since then, it's estimated that it saved over one million lives because Volvo cars waived its patent rights so that everybody could benefit, whatever car they drive. In 1964, Volvo tested the world's first rear-facing child seat prototype in a PV 544, the first of many child safety innovations. And in 1976, Volvo launched the world's first child booster cushion, an invention now used across the world that has saved countless young lives. Also in 1976, Volvo gave the world the Lambda Sound. This little oxygen sensing probe reduces harmful exhaust emissions by 90%. The California Air Resources Board called it 
the most significant breakthrough ever made in the control of vehicle exhaust emissions. Once again, Volvo gave it to the world, and today, virtually every petrol engine car in the world has one. Volvo's international reputation for environmental standards and advanced safety was confirmed in 1976, when the US government used the Volvo 240 as the benchmark to set safety standards for all new cars and in 1978, when it was named the USA's cleanest car. Since then, Volvo has strived to lessen its impact on the environment through innovation in every part of the life cycle of our cars. For instance now, all the electricity in Volvo's Swedish factories comes from hydroelectric power. And in line with our vision of building the safest, most energy-efficient cars in the world, Geely, our Chinese owner, are committed to the development of a new generation of sustainable technologies. Volvo's mission is to make people's lives better and less complicated. Our goal is that by the year 2020, no one shall be killed or seriously injured in a new Volvo. We're working to achieve this by making our cars smarter than ever. Now, IntelliSafe technology can detect pedestrians even in the dark, plus cyclists, animals and objects around the car, preventing accidents before they happen. And our Drive Me autonomous driving program means that soon Volvos will be able to look after some of the less exciting aspects of driving, such as stop and go traffic, allowing drivers more time to enjoy life. Of course, our self driving cars will be safer, save fuel, and reduce emissions, helping to improve everyone's quality of life. We think our founders would have approved.